So I'm taking a motor tooth, which is a massive tooth. You can actually see the tooth. Show I'll swallow when you can I'll swallow when you can show. So the tooth has got this tooth, is, this tooth has got three big roots. So what I've done just really simply. Really simply, all we've done is we have we've cut this tooth. So we've we've we first cut the tooth we've cut the we've cut the tooth longitudinally, I don't know if you can see. And then we've cut it horizontally here. So I've broken the tooth into three single rooted teeth, and then I'm gonna gradually slowly take out each of the single roots. So when you get a really big tooth and a big dog like this, it's 20 kilos, it's got massive teeth, it's a three-rooted tooth, he's got a slab fracture, in other words, a piece of the tooth has come off, it's in the gum and he'll have continual pain and periodontal disease. So are we extracting it? And it should make, be complete resolution. We do try and save teeth, but this is not a case because uh, it goes right up into the gum, the slab, the piece that came off goes right into the gum. So it's really nice to be able to have nice dental equipment. This is a fast hand piece. He's got little swabs in the back of his throat so he can't swallow any of the water that comes out of it because when I spray it, there's water. Mm -hmm. You can see there's monitoring, we've got an anaesthetist and an assistant anaesthetist. You can hear the ECG beeping like it's like in an ICU unit now, well, maybe you can show. And uh, we're very happy that uh, the owner trusts us, he's come from a distance, he's actually one of my mates. So nice run. heat. And uh, we're going to do a really good job on, uh, on this little guy. Nice. So we've, ta we've taken out a three root of tooth. So if you could try and see, that's one of the roots. That's another, that's another tooth with the root tip that comes out with it. And here's the third, the third tooth, and there's a tiny root tip that we took out as well. So you have to take out all three, all three pieces and their roots. Um, on top of that, I don't want to dirty this beautiful coat. We're going to also scale and polish the mouth and get this mouth really beautiful so we can, we, we're going to get a really clean oral cavity. So this is, a, this is an ultrasonic scaler. You can see that I'm scaling. But the mouth is pretty good. Um, obviously, this, the, 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 the mouth is already looking very good. This owner keeps, keeps his, dog teeth, his dog's teeth really clean. So when we examine a dog's mouth, another thing you can see, we use a dental probe just like a regular dentist does. So the probe is, uh, I'll just get to the here for some reason. So here's my probe and you can see the little graduations on it. So now that I've finished the side, I'll quickly, I'll quickly have a feel. So you can see healthy gum, it doesn't even go in a millimeter, it doesn't go in much. So you're checking to see how far it goes in. Yes, yeah, so the, these gums, are, so the, the oral cavity is really good. We've got a small problem here, which I'll clean, which I'll clean out a little bit better. So I'm going to address. There's a small amount, of, a small amount of decay. I'm going to try and clean that as best I can, and then we'll go to the other side. So it's pretty much like at the human dentist, and this is the spray, the air spray. Covering a dental anesthetic is really good. This is about three or four minutes post procedure. Well, I've got a feeling I've done it before and never come out. I think they are the It's kind of peaceful, surrounded by a couple of, by three nurses, an anaesthetist, assistant anaesthetist, and a, a third nurse, because we really want our patients to recover in a quiet, gentle environment, surrounded by humans, because this is a very bonded dog. He's got a loving family at home. He's around kids and adults all the time, and uh, we want him to recover peacefully as if his owners were here with him. Um, and you can see it's a beautiful recovery. Bella? Hi, Bella. Bella, we're gonna have you back with your owners very soon. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, baby? So she's really, really, really relaxed, a little bit of ketamine on board, the but the anesthetic's hey. wearing out. How's that face? Mm -hmm. Nice. That's okay. 
Hi, Nia Bella. Oh, let's go. You can see the blankets, the number of towels and blankets that are involved in that. Um, yes, everywhere. And the next step, so now into the incubator, you can see we put a towel down, a very, very fluffy blanket. And um, someone's recovering the gentle, quiet, <laughs> the towel. Let's have it. Bella, let's have a tail wag. Tail wag, please. Come on, Bella. She's not going to do it for you now. Anyway, Bella's not giving us a tail wag, but um, you can see that everything, everything's gone really well, and we're happy that psychologically and emotionally she's going to go home, not too scarred.